Doctor, what do you think of our new base of operations? It's missing something. Maybe a tennis court and a pool will help motivate me better. Very nice call, very cute. Uh, so listen, now, <clears throat> you're gonna have to learn how to fly. No, I ain't. Yes, actually you are. I set out a series of tests for you. You can access them on that TV. You're gonna have to prove to me that you can fly if you're gonna continue working towards your brother's freedom. Shit, whatever, man. Very nice. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's the flying coming along? Yeah, well, shit, man, I was gonna holler at you about that, cause, you know, I'm... Will you listen to yourself? Admit it. You're scared. Maybe just a little. Until you've walked right into the middle of a Bedouin arms dealer's camp with nothing but a briefcase full of cash, you don't know the meaning of fear. Oh, yeah? Try going to the swap me night of wood sometime. Learn to fly, Carl. What you want, Torino? Well, what do you want, Carl? You want your brother out of jail? Okay, listen. I'm trying, man. I really am. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, Carl. The one difference between those that tried and died and those that still walk this earth is belief in self. Nothing is impossible, Carl. Beat your fears, focus your mind, and learn to fly. Okay, okay, I'll... Torino! Oh, shit. Torino! Carl, learn to fly. I'm on it, man, I swear. Hey, me, I'm on it, man, I swear. Same old broken record, Carl, but that's fine, because your brother's getting a new cellmate tonight. Horse cock Harry, and I'm sending a present, little wedding present. Big tub of lube. Shit, dude, okay, okay, I swear, man, I'm gonna be the best pilot. I'd love to hear you, Carl, I can't hear you. All I can hear is your brother's love cries as eight kilometers of cock finds its way up his ass. Oh, that's your brother, okay? No big problem. Wait, please, man! That was my last motivational speech, understand? Am I being too spiritual for you, Carl? Okay, man, I get the message. <laughs>